Have you ever wanted to make a swipe movement system? This system is widely used in the mobile game development, so learning how to create it is very useful for a lot of projects. You may think that doing this is hard and that it requires a lot of mathematics. Actually, with the plugin I will show you in this video, this process will be super easy and you will need zero mathematics. Personally, I've used it in my personal project, World Cup Collector, in which as you can see the player moves towards the direction swiped. By the way, you can download this game for free in Play Store, link down below. So, are you ready to take your movement system to the next level? Let's start. So, uh, the first thing you're going to do is to go to the link uh, down below about uh, this uh, GitHub repository. You'll find here this repository in which uh, there will be our swipe controller a uh, plugin or package we want to download don't be put off because of uh, the release date of uh, this package because as you can see it's quite old but uh, in the long term support versions of unity this works perfectly fine so there shouldn't be any kind of problem so in order to download this package you're going to click here it says code and then you are going to click here download zip once this zip is download, go to your file explorer and uh, you're going to extract um, this zip using WinRAR or uh, any other uh, software like this one. And as you can see, we have this swipe controller uh, folder, which we are going to drag and drop it inside our uh, assets folder. Okay, then we can close it. We are going to wait a couple of seconds. Here I received this warning, but uh, we shouldn't have much problem, we can clear the console. Now, uh, when you play the game, uh, you shouldn't receive any kind of warning or error, everything should be just fine. If so, it means that everything is correctly set up. Now let's actually start creating our swipe movement system. Of course, you can implement this um, in an old project you have and you want to implement this or uh, in a complete new project, it's exactly the same and the process is very similar and easy. So the first thing we are going to do is to create an empty game object and this is going to be our uh, swipe listener game object. Um, so I'm going to rename it to swipe listener. Here I will add the component of swipe listener. Of course, this script is inside our swipe controller uh, folder we've imported before. This means that if you haven't installed and imported our swipe controller package, you, you are not going to be able to actually add this script. And here, well, uh, we have a lot of things uh, we can modify. After we have set up our swipe listener, uh, we are going to create our player or the object uh, we want to move with the swipe. In my case, I'm just going to create a square, name it player. And uh, I'm also going, no, I'm not going to change the color. In my assets, I'm going to create a new folder and I will name it scripts. And here I will create a new C sharp script and I will name it player um, swipe movement. Okay, I'm going to wait until the script compiles and then here in the player I'm going to add this script player swipe movement inside this script the first thing uh, you're going to need to do is to add this namespace which will allow us to actually uh, modify and listen to the swipes this is uh, this um, namespace you are seeing right now dot swipe okay then we need a reference to our swipe listener class we added before in order to do that i'm just going to create a new serialized field private variable of type swipe listener swipe listener and i'm going to name it swipe listener uh, swipe listener just like this then what we need to do is to assign this on swipe event uh, to our um, player swipe movement script so there are two ways of doing this, you can actually click here plus and then you assign the object and that thing or you can make this action by code. I will show you how to do both, but for both, uh, well in this case as I'm going to make it in code, firstly I will need to drag and drop my reference to my swipe listener script. 
once I have my reference. What I'm going to do here is that uh, on the start function that is called as soon as the game starts, starts playing, I mean, we are going to call our swipe listener class and we are going to add our on swipe listener, okay? Also, you're going to need here a name of a variable that will be actually the actual listener. In this case, I'm going to name it on swipe because it, it's a nice name. And I'm going to create this variable here, private void on swipe. Check that the spelling is exactly the same one. Also, this method of on swipe uh, receives a parameter of type string that is named a uh, swipe. So when we add this parameter, as you can see, uh, the error uh, here disappears. If we now uh, decide to print our swipe, okay, what is going to happen that if I decide to swipe up, for example, you can see I have here up. We have right, down, left, and we also have the diagonal. So we have up left, up right, down left, and down right if we go to our swipe listener we can also see that here we have the swipe detection mode in this case we have eight sides selected this means we have um also the diagonals but you could uh, only use here left and right if you want up and down four sides that four sides uh only detects movement up down left or right as you can see if i make a diagonal it doesn't detect the diagonal it detects right or up depending on the swipe or also you have here hexagonal horizontal hexagonal vertical or a custom one uh, in most games you are going to use four sides or uh, maybe eight sides well now i'm going to add uh, this listener okay but from the unity editor and not from the code so if you wanna do this, what you're going to do um, is firstly, you're not going to need a, the, the start function and the reference to the swipe listener. I believe you're not also going to use this namespace. And here on our on swipe method, this you're going to need this. Um, you're going to make it public. Then in Unity, you're going to select your swipe listener where it says on swipe string. You're going to click uh, this add icon. You're going to drag and drop your game object containing the player swipe movement script. In this case, that's the name I, I put it. And here in no function, you're going to click. You're going to click your script. And here where it says dynamic string, you're going to select your function. In this case, it's named on swipe. So now when we play the game, we can see that, oh, sorry, the problem here was, I believe that I selected, I send message and not on swipe. So I selected other function. So here now, yes, as you can see, it's working up, left, down and right. Both ways of listening to the swipe will work entirely the same, but by doing this, uh, in our unity editor we are uh, using as you can see less lines of code now we can detect the swipe uh, direction but we can't actually move the player or any other object so this is the thing we are going to do right now in order to do this firstly we are going to create uh, a new private variable of type vector2 i'm going to name it move input as it will store our move input we can delete this print if we want to and then here we are going to make some if conditions first if our swipe is equals to left as a string we are going to set our move input to vector 2 dot left and we are going to do uh, the exact same process with um with the other directions for example we have if swipe equals to um right we're going to set our move input to vector 2 dot right i'm going to continue to make uh, the other two i'm going to copy because i believe it's going to be faster 
if stripe is equals up this vector 2 will be up if the stripe is down i'm going to put this vector 2 dot down then in our um i'm also going to need a a float variable that's going to be our speed for example i'm going to put some random number for example five and then in our update method update oh, update so here we will actually move the player so to do this we're going to call our transform dot position plus equal a uh, vector three we're going to convert our move input variable that as you can see is a vector two uh, to um, a vector three so that we can modify the position because transform the position is a vector three then this move input as a vector three we're going to multiply it by our speed we have set and also by time dot delta time so that the speed is exactly the same um, in every single device now when we press play as you can see as soon as the game starts um the player is not moving but as soon as we swipe to any direction left right up down the player is in constant movement then i would also like to show you some other settings you can modify or well firstly i will show you this event that is on swipe cancelled in order to show you what this method does i'm going to create another public method in this case on on swipe cancelled and i'm going to print uh the same thing swipe cancel so now when i come back to my uh unity editor i will click plus player i will drag and drop it function player swipe movement and i'm going to select on swipe cancel as you can see um I, I don't have here, a, for example, a, let me show you this thing that is dynamic or a sta static parameter. As you can see, a, this on swipe cancel function doesn't require any kind of parameter because you can see here it's empty and here we have string, which is the type of parameter it returns. Of course, you can assign this listener from the code as I showed you before, but now uh, we can see that this function on swipe cancel is only called um, when you for example you just click uh, the screen and you don't swipe uh, that is counted as a swipe cancel you can i'm just clicking and it's printing that or also if i click outside the game window uh, you can see that it says swipe cancel okay i don't know if this function has a lot of sense because why would you like to detect when that's when that happens well this on swipe cancel uh, is very related to for some of the sensitivity um, we said remember that the sensitivity for a uh, uh, in default is 10 uh, but if we put it to for example one what we can see is that we need um, a longer swipe in order to be uh, detected uh, but for example if i don't uh, for example if i don't really swipe entirely it's counted as swipe cancel okay it's maybe a little bit strange to explain here because you can't see when i swipe um but i recommend you to uh, actually try out uh, this parameter but sensitivity means that for example here is one so i have to swipe a lot in order uh, the software to recognize that I have swiped but for example if I put here I don't know a thousand for example as soon as I move uh, as soon as I swipe just a little bit as you can see it detects the swipe whereas for example if I set it again to one you can see that these very little uh, swipes are not detected and uh, these swipe cancel messages are printed I will the sensitivity uh, as default and the continuous detection means that uh, by default you have to when you swipe you have to release the mouse the the mouse button you can't if you keep uh, 
the button down you can see i can't uh, swipe continuously so if you want to modify this you can turn on continuous detection and i'm going to just keep the mouse down and as you can see the swipe is constantly uh, being detected okay so uh, try all these options by yourself but now uh, you should have a very basic basis of uh, this incredible package you can use it for a lot of things not only player movement the only limit is your imagination so if this video was helpful please subscribe to the channel like the video as well and see you on the next one bye bye